Hey, this is Mike with Tactical Wood Gas doing an unboxing of one of our Tactical Hydro Power Systems. This is the whole unit here. This is a hydroelectric dam in your hand. It's 10 watts and it weighs 23 ounces. Um, let's open her up. The bag does double duty and I'll show you that in just a second. This is the hydro unit. So here is the hydro turbine. This creates the 12 volts that come out. So if you look at the two different sides of here, we've got uh, a water input and output, and then we've got a power out. So the power out here is 12 volts. This is an Anderson power pole, plus 12 volt on the red, ground on the black. So you can take that and power your, um, you know, Elecraft KX3 ham radio, you know, at, half, at 5 watts, or charge batteries, your, charge a, a sealed lead acid battery, or that sort of a thing or you can leave it connected the way it comes and this is the input to a USB 12 volt to USB converter so what you get out of here is up to 10 watts of 5 volt power so you can use this to charge your phone so there's the power head next coming out of the bag is the stiffener I'll show you what we use that for in a second we've got to get the power the, the water from the, the source of the water down to the hydro head and the input has to be at least 10 foot higher than the head so we give you two 15 foot sections of hose there's a male and female and these are half inch IPT threaded the bag itself you turn inside out and it has built onto it little parachute cords so it's like a, a little water parachute but the problem is the, the opening is really floppy so we supply uh, wire that you take to where the, the pull cord is on the drawstring and you feed that through. Once that's all the way through, then the mouth has to stay open. So you stick this. What I do is I, I go to the stream and I, I put a stick through here and, and suspend it in the water so the stream water is going in. Not so low that we're grabbing, grabbing sand or dirt on the bottom. We want to be up a little bit from that. Um, and you don't need much flow to make this thing work. So sewn to the bottom of the bag that doesn't show when it's right side out. Right now this is an inside out to become the funnel. Is sewn five feet of waterproof bag material to a half inch IPT. So once you've got it in the water, in the water and you've got water flowing out of here, you can hook it up to the 15 foot. Now if you're on a waterfall, all you need is one of these and then you, you've hooked it because 15 foot straight down is greater than 10. But a lot of streams are not as steep as that. So we give you uh, five feet plus 15 plus 15. So you get 35 feet in order to get your five foot or 10 foot rather of head pressure to make the power. So you can run this from streams. You can run this from your garden hose directly. What uh, some people have done is they've taken this unit without the rest of it and they've hooked it in series with the garden hose out on the back of the property. And this allows power to be made so they can run uh, some LED lighting or some different things at a part of the property that they just can't afford to run the power to uh, at that point. Also, uh, this has been used on like the second floor gutters. Take disconnect a downspout from your gutters, connect the mouth of the unit uh, right under where the downspout was connected and you'll be able to make power off rain coming on your roof or if you're out in the woods you can take a reasonably sized tarp cut a one inch hole in the middle suspend this underneath it and let the and, and put the tarp up at least 10 feet probably 15 or 20 feet as the rain hits the tarp it gathers in the center goes through the hole into the unit and makes power for you. So even if you live on flat land, uh, you can make hydropower. So this is Mike from Dr. Wood Gas. Make sure that you check out our uh, website uh, and also take a look. We've got some videos of these things in action making power in the field. Thanks.